year draws to a close, it's fair to say that we've all learned something about the social, political, physical, and environmental forces that have affected everyone. Joining us to discuss investment lessons from 2020 is Jim Lyons from Edward Jones. So, Jim, what have we learned? Well, Brian, you know, in many ways, because of the pandemic, our lives have changed, perhaps permanently. But as an investor looking on the past year, here's some lessons that we've learned. First off, the markets always look ahead. Here's something that many investors discovered in 2020. Investment prices don't always correlate with the economy. This might not have seemed apparent right after COVID-19 struck in mid-February. But as the overall economy and the stock market took big hits, but just about five weeks later, the market began a rally that lasted several months. And uh, during this time, the economy also recovered somewhat, but still remains on weak footing. So how can we explain this discrepancy between the markets and economic activity? Well, essentially, economic data such as unemployment and GDP reflect what's happening today. But the markets are always looking towards tomorrow, which means they're anticipating a stronger economic recovery and the results that come with it. For example, low interest rates, and greater corporate earnings for 2021. No one can say for sure what the future holds, but you can usually guess the market's opinion by its performance. So what opportunities were there for investors, Jim? Well, you know, Brian, opportunities will always exist for investors. And although the coronavirus seems unprecedented, the equity markets have rebounded from many crises before it. From war to global financial meltdowns, the market's seen it all. But even in the height of these events, when the markets are most affected, individual segments or industries can do quite well. For example, in the current environment, when people have been forced to work and, and shop from home, it's probably not surprising that some parts of the technology sector have seen their economic activity grow, along with their stock prices. And here's the key point. Investment opportunities always exist, even in times of market stress. And smart investors will know where to find them and insert them into their portfolios in a way that's appropriate for their risk tolerance and goals. Uh, what else was learned, Jim? Well, well, you know, patience and discipline can really pay dividends. As I've said, the stock market dropped sharply in the weeks immediately following the pandemic, but then gained steadily for months afterwards. And investors who tried to cut losses and exited the market likely did so at the wrong time and missed out just at the beginning of the upturn. You know, unfortunately, this is not uncommon. Investors who overreact to market declines often find themselves on the investment sidelines just when a new rally begins. So rather than being reactive in this way, you might be better off sticking with a long-term investment strategy and buying and selling investments only when it makes sense for your situation. So, you know, for many reasons, it's unlikely that we'll see anything like 2020 again, and that's maybe a good thing. But many of the investment lessons that we've learned are applicable every year. So keep that in mind for 2021 and beyond and wishing everybody and yourself, Brian, a happy new year. Okay. Happy new year's, Jim. Thank you very much.